Hello and welcome back to Offered Outlaws, y'all, and today we're jumping back into this game because it's been a little while since I've actually gone over what maps are available on the front page, and so that's what we're going to be doing in this video, and I have a map picked out that I think y'all are going to really like, and if you're like me and haven't really paid attention to the featured maps page in Offered Outlaws in a while, this is the video for you, for sure. So let's go ahead and click play, and we're going to go to single player, and real quick, we're going to turn on a couple of physics modifications like five times drone speed, no vehicle damage, NOS, and heavy coal. And we're going to go ahead and click OK and then go to custom maps. Then we're going to go down here to mudding and there's a map called Big Tire Boggin that I didn't really know about until I saw it right here on the front page. And I was like, you know what? For one, I need to check that out, and for two, I didn't even have it favorited. So let's go ahead and jump into this map and see what it's all about. Now, I do understand that this map might not be brand new to some of you, but for me, when I logged in and found it, it was a map that I, A, had no experience of, and B, I had never been to before. And so I figured, well, if it was a map that I had never been to, then maybe there might be some of y'all out there that have never been to it either. And when you drop in, you realize how many freaking options there actually are out here. Now, let me actually jump out of the truck real quick because I thought I saw, I thought I saw the shadow of a bird fly over. I'm pretty sure that I did see the shadow of a bird fly over, but like, I'm not really going to worry about it right now. So let's go ahead and park the trailer because let's be completely clear. The car that we have on the trailer, our Nova, is not necessarily going to do all that well in any kind of uh, big tire mud bogging off-roading scenarios. So let's see. We got some options here. We got a more difficult trail right there. We got a road that leads to, I believe, some other trails and obstacles. And then we have a most difficult uh, trail marker right here. Now, the most difficult trail marker, I think we'll avoid that for the moment. Um, you can absolutely check that out if you want to, but I'm in a truck right now that is primarily a tow rig and it can do mild to moderate trails but it's not necessarily uh like primarily a trail focused rig although considering the fact that it's prime like its primary purpose is towing it's not bad so let's make our way through some of these obstacles and oh yeah okay i see what we're getting into now okay there's i, I see the birds now i was like confused for a second i was like does this map actually have birds or was i just like seeing things but no it does Oh, what's cool about this is you could actually, if you wanted to race a buddy right here, you totally could. Let's go ahead and give it full beans in the mud and see what happens. It's ripping pretty good. Wait a minute. Can you drive into that? Ah, uh, probably not. It looks like it's blocked off, but I know on some maps, they make those pipes and tunnels just barely big enough to where you can get a small vehicle into them if you built something, you know, again, that was small enough, like a quad or a golf cart or something. And I know that they like to hide little Easter eggs in, in places like that sometimes. So that would definitely be something to look into. Oh, geez. I think I got my front bumper caught on the rock. Can we, like, get out of this mud, please? Thank you. All right, I'm going to need low range. I just need a little bit more. Oh, my God. I just need a little bit more torque on these tires. Come on. I did not go with any added grip, by the way. I did not use the added grip physics. I'm running the stock grip that anybody would have on these tires, and I usually prefer to run it that way because I feel like the game is a little bit more fun that way. All right, let's see. Does this go... I don't really know which way to go at this point. I mean, I guess you could go... You go this way. God, my entire truck is just, like, completely covered in mud now. I've also completely forgotten why, uh, uh, why there's a chef hat on my character. I don't remember why that was a decision that was made. I can't remember if it was a decision that I made or a decision that y'all made in the stream chat a while back. I'm not entirely sure. Someone refresh my memory on that in the comments below. Which way does this go? I mean, I'm just going to take a wild guess and turn right, but I I could be completely wrong. I could be just, you know, driving into nothing. Uh, that goes somewhere, uh, but so does this. So we're going to go this way. I love how lost I am already. What the? Uh, all right. The road even splits right here. Um, 
And then also, this just goes, what the heck? There's fallen trees in here. I mean, if you want a map where you could go mudding and just never run out of options, holy smokes, this is a great map for that. But if you're, uh, if you're worried about essentially getting turned around or you have a slightly questionable sense of direction uh, on maps like this, like I do, then uh, it's definitely going to take some doing and some learning and some getting accustomed to the area before you get comfortable with knowing where you are on the map like this. Come on, and... Boom! Not bad. Not freaking bad. I Whoa. Oh, God, there's even more mud out there. Where does this even go? Oh, wait. There's another... I am so confused. Well, I mean, I guess this is directing me somewhere. This is directing me to what looks like another mud lane. I just don't know if this is going to come out in the area that we were already in or if it's going to come out in a different area entirely. And both of those things are possible options, especially considering how many times we've already gotten turned around on this map. Ooh, easy. I have not lifted, by the way. You don't want to on a map like this, because if you lose your momentum, uh, you could be in for a world of oof if you, if you lose your momentum. Come on! And it's out! Not bad at all. Actually, you know what? Low range, please. Thank you. All right, where are we going now? There's almost like a little bit of a rock crawling obstacle here that you could use to get over to this other road. Although, whoa! Dude, this is some like... This is almost like some Truck Night in America level stuff. What is this place? I can't believe I've never been here. Oh my god, I found another mud, uh, another mud bog yet again. This is like, you can literally never run out of options out here. I mean, no matter how, no matter how, like, built or not built your vehicle is, you could come out here and have a blast. I mean, I would definitely recommend coming out here with something... Uh, that has at least moderately large tires, because if you don't have those, and you don't have upgraded grip, uh, you might get, you might get obliterated by the map. Now, when I say upgraded grip, I don't mean the additional physics modification, I just mean upgraded grip in terms of, uh, you know, maxing it out in the shop. Does that go, I, I was like, does that go anywhere? Does that go to, like, a separate, uh, like a separate mountain? It doesn't appear to, but... You know, we could see if we could climb it. And actually, if we climb it, we might be able to get a better look at where this map actually... Ooh, where this map goes. Come on! Oh, let's go! I did not... Oh, no. I just wanted to adjust. That's all I wanted to do. And it was like, nope, you're getting sent backwards. I had a terrible line anyway, and that's why I was trying to kind of adjust myself, but... As we can clearly see, that played out, uh, terribly. Almost there. All right, get the tires in position, and, oh, it's already over the edge. Okay, all right. Grand! All right, up you go. And now, oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Almost. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy crap, we did it! We freaking did it. Look how enormous this map is, by the way. Look how much of it we haven't seen yet. What is that out there that's like a massive boat dock? Oh, wow. Look at this winding road that looks like a roller coaster that wraps around that mountain. Dude, there is so much here. All right, I'm going to send it. Let's go! We almost cleared it and got to that other mountain. Oh my god, we almost gapped that. That is amazing. That is freaking amazing. I used the NOS to jump up over the guardrail just because I just because I kind of wanted to. I wanted to make sure that we cleared it, you know? I love how even on the main road, there's rock obstacles. It's like, if you want to get around on this map, you better have something that's built to handle stuff like this because even the main roads have rock crawling obstacles. Like, good luck if you bring something that doesn't have at least decent sized tires or at least decent ground clearance. There's another side trail if you want to attempt that. Oh my god, there's so much going on. 
This map, you could literally explore it for hours and probably not get bored. Legit, you could probably explore this place for hours and not get bored just because there's so much to do. And there's an entire section out there devoted to boats and jet skis. And this side of the map, we haven't even been to yet. And we've been out here for a little while already. Ooh, a little bit of handbrake action so that we don't launch ourselves. And we still... Wow! Well, goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Yeah, I was not expecting that to be the case. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the trailer right there. Okay, we're like basically exactly where we were before, so it's fine. Easy. I almost drove into the drink. All right. Brakes and e-brake up the hill because I don't want to fly over the guardrail like I did last time. Now, if you go to the left here, the road instantly turns into, ah, uh, well, essentially just rock crawling and doom for anything that has small tires. So, again, this is another one of those routes that I wouldn't recommend taking unless you have a very well-equipped vehicle. With that being said, though, if you have a well-equipped vehicle, God, this place is a blast. You could spend so much time out here. Look at all these alternate routes that you can take. It's, it's almost like the alternate routes are endless. Like, don't get me wrong, you will run out of routes eventually, but it's gonna take you a long time to run out of routes on this map. Yoink! I love how they have like a little jump right there. Like if you do want to hit it with some speed. Ooh, what is this? I've never been down here. And boom, welcome back to more mud. This place, this place is freaking sick. Like I love this map already and y'all definitely need to check this place out. And if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later. And I hope y'all enjoyed.